Oh well, shall we? Where are we now? Chris's caravan. We've had a call, haven't we, from uh, Gary? Can't I can't do. like Chris's caravan's boiler. Can you come down? Can you say, oh Chris, I've done everything for you. Of course he will. Let's go and have a look anyway. So we're just on the site. It's a bit rainy at the moment, folks, but uh, Gary's already here because Chris turns up tonight, apparently. This isn't his permanent residence. This is his uh, little holiday let sort of thing. And he said he can't light the boiler. I might get me peas, peas back. Your peas yeah? back, baby. Peas. Let's go find out where he is. Up you go, Sharon. Look at that view, look at that field he's got. Right on these caravans. One of the best views on the site. Right, let's have a look here. Right, that's the boiler. Right, what seems to be the problem then? Oh, hello. What are these two doing in here? Look. Got the fire on. Look, Project man. See that. Project Man and Vegetastic Mum's on the scene, look. Hello. 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 Using all this gas up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Works for the job. So what's happening with this boiler then? It's not firing up. Have you put the batteries in it? Oh, yes. Let's have a look. So you got gas, yeah? Yeah, because I've had the oven on to make sure. Well, if you had the oven on, you must have had the gas on? Yeah. So why can't you get the boiler on? Well, you tell me. Oh, well, there's been a problem with water pressure, isn't there? Mm. The old site had been shut down, folks. What's the water pressure like there, Sharon? Terrible, look. Well, it might because there's not enough water pressure. That will start my brother off moaning. Why? Oh, every time I come here, there's something. Oh, don't you? He's watching this now, this yeah. video. And that you, brother John? So, what's uh, you said you've had the gas on? Yeah, the gas springs light. Right. So, go on, then light the gas. No, no, it's not that. It's just that. Just to make sure you've got gas to the boiler, that's all. So, you've obviously got gas to the caravan. All right, so that's off, yeah. So the probably the probably why the boiler isn't coming on. No, you can't even get the pipe light on. I would imagine it's because it's got no water pressure there. Okay, yeah. So solenoid valve coming in probably ain't getting activating because of the water pressure. So there's nothing we can do about that. You've got to find out why we ain't got no water pressure. So yeah, this is uh, Sharon's brother's caravan, folks. He's uh, he does his radio show from here down in the end room. That's where we had the, the floor caved in. And if you check the Project Man channel out, Gary's channel, you'll see he had done a repair in the whole floor in there, which uh. Saved him a lot of money, Sharon, didn't it? Oh, yeah. So, just coming out here, folks. He's just had some more work done. He's had a couple of new windows in here because these windows have actually blown and you couldn't see out. Then they had all that sort of mist in between them. So, that one, look at that. What a view from your kitchen window, folks, eh? How good is that? And coming through to his office where he does his uh, vlog or vlog cast as well. He's got to put all his equipment back in here, but he's normally got a backdrop up on this wall here. And uh, this used to hold as a little bedroom, but it's now his uh, mobile studio from his link. Uh, no, he's a waterside media studio, as he calls it. And now, if I just sit down on the chair there, hold on. That is the view you got from the window there, look. Right across that field there, brand new windows in there, look. And uh, down here, this was all broken and the floor was all collapsed there because it had a water leak right up there. Which Gary's taken all that wall panel off and uh, fixed the leaks and all that, and put new floor boards in down there. So that was all done as well. Daddy, yeah, right. you know this is what Gary's usually like, yeah. But there's no not enough water pressure at the moment for the boiler. Who's that on the phone? Chris. Oh, you speaking to Chris? Uh, uh. Your gas works on your cooker and that. No, Kelly, you've done it. Hey, come on, Olive. Show me how it's done. Don't call yeah, her on yeah, it. She yeah. likes it. Yeah. What, um, Olive? She's not Olive. That's your mother. Yeah. I'll leave an half for it, look. <laughs> Don't laugh at him, Stacey. Water pressure's still pouring. Or is it Daisy and Onslow? Yeah. Shut up. What are you two then? Uh, Gary and Stacey. Yeah. Gavin and Stacey. Yeah. Yeah? You got your sausage roll there, darling? Yeah. What, your nanny cooked you? Yeah. That's meat on your vegetastic mum's yeah, shoulder, look. <laughs> Fantastic mum likes a bit of meat, didn't you? Fantastic mum. <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't know what she's thinking of, folks. She always goes like this. She's got a dirty mind. Oh, dear. oh Gary said the neighbour, he uh, left his water off. And uh, they've had a water problem on this site. And uh, apparently his porcelain system had broken. He couldn't have drained the water out of it because it's been no, very cold door. down here. He's doing it himself, actually. And the bloke next door is fitting it himself now. But they've had a water problem on this site where the whole site has lost its water. That's probably why he hasn't got boiler pressure. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to... 
Moon. Yeah, about time. Distinct. What is it? Candle? Yeah. Never mind. Hey, what are you doing, Project Man? Walking about the place. You walking about like you own it. <coughs> Does he own it? Yeah. Fantastic mum. Yeah, I've been to East Kirkville for a there and then we're driving home and that's when day around. I want one with a boiler that works. <laughs> yeah, Brian, just sit on our video on Sunday night. He'll be coming round your house to wash yourself, Stacey. Yeah. yeah. What time is it, he said? Oh. Chico time. Dinner time. What time Dinner time. Well, some people have late lunch, some people have early dinner. Well, no, they have dinner at two. Ready at one. Oh, here we go. Now you change it. You're moving the goalpost now, Stacey. Because he'll want to cry and go home. Oh, what? He'll what? Cry and go home. Live your life by the clock. No. He does. He's regimental, Sharon. I don't. He's British summertime. That's thrown him. <laughs> well, we've just built this together, Sharon, haven't we? And you're on your knees, on your back. I'm not on your back, on your front. Let's just get the dogs out of the way. Let's have a show. Look, we just built this, folks. Look, let's stand back. It's a bit dark in here, I know, but uh, you get the idea. And there's our little Barney on the top there, shall we? My pride and joy. Our little uh, Barney, our little Springer. Oh, there we go. It's a bit of colour. So Sharon's just uh, putting the hinge back on because we put the hinges back the front and runners, upside down. They? Runners. Runners, sorry, yeah. So we just look at me. Look at you, baby. You're just telling me. Go on in, poke them in. Get them in, baby. So we're just putting the last three drawers in now as she approaches the obstacle the with vigour. Hey? Eh? Oh, don't put a runner on it. <laughs> oh, I'll leave that one. Oh, cut. <laughs> I thought I'd put them all on, baby. I'm sure I've used them all. There must be don't another one there. Say that. No, don't say that. Hello, I can hear laughter, Sharon. That's the laughter of pity, Sharon, from Lee Van Camp, who's sitting in the living room waiting for us to go out. Look at that. Let's get the last one. Hold on, folks. Let's just get that last one done. Any luck? Where? Um, no, that's ideal. That'll do. Right, so just coming through here, folks. That little screw's got to go in there. There we go. So that's the last screw, folks. There we go, zoom it in, there we go, a perfect Sharon. Oh, baby Frank's coming in. Oh. Mummy's off to work, aren't you, Mummy? Yeah, so baby Frank stays with us. Go on and shout, let's just put this in. Hold it for a minute, Charlotte. Oh, we just got to... No, we can see him. Yeah, well, I know, we just got to christen the last draw going in. Shout, turn around and cheer. Absolutely lovely, folks. There, another little addition to the puzzle. We've still got to put the pictures up. There's a big mirror to go up there still. We've got a few pictures to go all around here, but uh, it's getting there now, isn't it? There you go. Oh, yeah, so just coming around here, folks. That laughter you heard was from uh, Lee Van Camp, who's been uh, waiting for us to go out somewhere. Camp, haven't you? I've been waiting about... He says, get here at 12. It's, it's now about half past one. Right. So, so what are you uh, saying? Well, he usually says, be here on time, and I've been here on time. I'd rather talk to Dougal, look. I'll tell you something. And that Dougal. He wouldn't let me film him eh? putting the unit together. Well, no. Oh, if anyone was going to film it, it would have been me and Sharon. You should have seen it. To be honest with you, folks, he's telling Porkies because it all went very well, as you well see. Yeah? You're doing it again. All I could hear was, cut, cut, cut. <laughs> what do you do that for? That's the wrong screw. Are you ready? Well, <laughs> Oh, what are you doing? You're, edit you're editing. Look, folks, he does his editing. On the phone. On, on the phone. That's yeah. how he does it. A lot yeah, of people look, do look, that. Look, look, look. I'm sat up and empty tasting. Hang on. Can I, 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 can I just in the chat for a minute? I love the way you move your arm around. I love it. Can you move that arm around like you was? Yeah. Well, we've got a little bit more here coming up. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Don't show it. If they want to see that, they've got to go over to your well, channel. What you, yeah, what Lee Van Camp. Cut. Well, what you, what cut. You... All right, so we're out and about, folks. We're out with uh, Mr. Lee Van Camp. If you oh hello, oh no, can't say that now because people said I'm homophobic. <laughs> what a load of rubbish! We love the gays. So here's the old camp wagon. You calling me, hey? Mr. Camp? Well, you are. You're Lee Van Camp. I'm Lee Van Camp. Lovely. Let's have a little look. I like to inspect his van, folks. I like to inspect it when it's uh, oh, he's kept it tidy. 
Oh, it smells all right as well. I thought it would smell of a uh, you know what. <laughs> you know what? Hey? I know what you know. Next what. time, give a polish to that bleeding hob cover, will you? It's all bleeding stained. Ah. Cups of no, tea no, rings. No, 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 no. That's not fair. What is it? Because I was waiting for you. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I was going to go and do that. Oh, yeah. But I rushed. Here, see that shirt there? You'll, 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 you'll never that. get into that. Oh, you'll never fit you. You said that. <laughs> Oh, hello, where's he been? Look, let's have a little look here, look. He's got Mackie D drinks there, folks, look. He's got Diet Coke, he's got, oh, what's in there? I don't, I don't touch any, any empty vessels in here. Sorry. Let's shut the door, let's put the seatbelt on. I'm starving. Right, so you want something to eat first, do you? Bloody right I do. I'm not eating. Well, I don't care. I am. Watch me eat, mate. What's the time? Yeah, he'll still be open, won't he? Who? Dale? Yeah. Down the ragged apron? Oh, he's got a peak. I'm starving. Right, looks like we're going down there, folks. I'm going to go because uh, I ain't got my seatbelt on yet and I'm going to put it on right now. Oh, lovely day, isn't it? Go on. Oh, I do. Uh, a lovely... Oh, oh yeah. Um, a lovely... A lovely bunch of coconuts? No, no. When I went to uh, the, uh, the Ragged Apron. Oh, yeah? Um, Did you have the big one? No, no. I, I, no, I had uh, cheek on carne with rice. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I was naughty. I had, a, I had a side side bit with uh, cheesy chips. Oh, cheesy chips! But anyway, folks, yeah, you might think that uh, I'm not eating. Yeah, 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 I'
And she said she's only got one of these, and this one is 250 mils. Have you ever seen that before? Yeah, no. I've never that. I said keep that. Collect some items. Yeah. Charge me eight quid for it. <laughs> so we've just ordered, I wasn't going to have anything, but uh, he's forced me into a big one. Hey? Yeah, he's having a big one. And I'm having, I wanted the chilli con carne, but I ain't got it, so I'm going to have the big one with some chips on the side. And then all of a sudden he went, oh, I'll bet have some chips as well. It'd be rude not to, folks. We're on holiday, are we? We're always on holiday. <laughs> Do you know what? Someone said to me the other day. What did they say? Hello, Lee? They said, you lived the life of a millionaire. Yeah. I said, you're right. Yeah. Apart from having the money. We don't need the money. No. Nah. It's a lifestyle thing. Yeah, it's nice. We've had people say it to us. Oh, uh, uh. Hey? And I couldn't understand what they were saying. Well, I don't know. I've not been in here for a while. And I've gone for the... The big end. And... Um, Look at you looking at me. <laughs> so it's right, okay it's folks, we're going to tuck in now, so oh, we'll see you there. at the end, eh? What's that, Jess? Yeah. Should look at this, that's Jess, look. Oh yeah, this is Look, he So we've just eaten, folks. It was enormous, wasn't it? Lovely. And you was here the other day, weren't you? And what happened? Well, I was walking up here, like you do. Yeah, what? Um, uh, do, do it, do it, do it, well, you're doing I, it. I had the old... Uh, Oh yeah. Like that, you know. Go on, yeah. The sun was out. Yeah. I was walking like that. Yeah. Oh, it, could have, it could have been like that. You were just about to go in the door. I was just about to go around. It's Lee Van Camp. You're joking. I've oh, gone like that. Sitting down here was a lovely lady, a lovely man, and their daughter, and they said, We're subscribers. <laughs> Love your channel. Well, if they know you, they must know me, surely. No, I didn't mention you. They said that. Charlie Drake. Oh, God. I pulled it over. I Unbelievable. Hey, hey. Cool. Uh, yeah, so I think what we'll do, we're going to visit the old Tatchell Castle. Yeah, all right. We'll uh, have a little look around there. Yeah. I think we can go inside it, I'm not sure. Yeah, because it's raining. Yeah, it's raining. I've just done a little uh, fencing job here. You haven't? Yeah. Where? I just put a fence up. Where? We better get away from here quick. You put it up? Hey? Put down. I just put it up, look. Fuck you, let's go. <laughs> go quick, look. <laughs> Here we go. Have you been paid? No. Right, folks, we're just entering the uh, the grounds to Tattershall Castle. I've never actually been here before. Uh, where'd you go? Castle Car Park. Castle Car Park, that's it. So it's down there somewhere. Go down there. Right. What's these little cottages here, then? I don't know. Are they like little uh, Victorian cottages? What if they're haunted? So we go around here. Yeah, I've never never been, folks. It's a nice, interesting place. I don't know whether it was a full castle. Um, 15th century. 15th century. I've been here before in this car park. Yeah, I've been down this road before. I told a little fib there. You did, didn't you? Yeah. I parked along here, and I think we walked along the river there, me and Sharon. And there's a little bridge there or something. Tales from the river, sorry. Tales from the riverbank. Riverbank. Hammy Hamster, remember that? I do. Hello, someone sitting in the car next to us. Alright, so this is the car park, folks. Not that we want to show you that. But, uh, turn in the road. What's this? What's this here? There's a big church here, folks. Look at this, look. Look at that little baby, look. That's a big church. I, didn't, I tell you what, I didn't even know that was there, Lee. No, so this is it. So we're probably standing what would have been here now. No, where are we? We're coming up that pathway there, aren't we? Walking up there to that church there. It, it used to be the residence of Lord Cromwell. Yeah. Because I just read it. And this castle was actually built... 1434. 1434? 1434. And that had a keep, great stables and a tilt yard. And it was Medieval abandoned. fish ponds. Look at that, look. Yeah, it was abandoned in 1693 and restored as a visitor's attraction by Lord Curzon of Kittleston in 1914. Well, I never knew that. Nor did I. Oh, we clever. So, hold on. There are some other stuff here. Look. We know the car park. They've got an overflow car park. So? <laughs> so? What do you wish you got to say about car parks? <laughs> and this is interesting. Look, number about number four, park. buried remains of Tatchell College. That's over there by the by the river. There's a the river down there. And if I turn over, that's that bit of land over there, Lee. 
Is There's it? nothing there. There's buried remains there, apparently. Of a, I'd like to of go the old there with the old, uh, mine detector. Oh, here we go. Look, them houses, what I just said, they're bed houses and they're not National Trust. So you can't go around and have a look at them. No. That's them little houses, folks, as we come in. And I said, people live in them. I said, what, eh? People live in them. Well, people normally live in houses. Well, yeah, but what I'm saying is, real folk. And the castle, which is one, I thought that would have been like two, four turrets, the way the castle is there. Yeah, look, they've even got a tyre, look, off a, off a lorry. Right, we're going to make our way to the entrance. Stupid saying that for. <laughs> so, just coming up here, those those little cottages, folks, and apparently they're not National Trust, but they're very, very elderly, aren't they? Yeah. Look at the little doorways on them, look. The brickwork looks as old as the castle. That are totally original. That, I don't know where, I don't know where I they... I bet they are 15th century. Do you reckon? Yep. You think there'd be a placard on the wall windows, somewhere, wouldn't there? What, you, what are you walking behind me for? Windows in you. Hey? Hey, what, hey? I'll, I'll yeah, what, lovely little cottages, folks. Follow me, I'm right behind you. So here we go. This is the Abbey, and those old, uh, old graveyards there, look. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I'm getting a feeling. No, you're not. Oh, look. You always get a feeling. Look at this, folks. This is really, really grand. We're just going to take a walk inside, folks. Have a little look at this church. Wow, look at this, Lee. What do you think? Hey. It's a bit old church. This little, I love that. Isn't it? This festival, look. Vestibule. I love that word. Are you getting a feeling? Oh, yeah. Not yet. No, not yet. Here you go. Oh, yeah. How old is that door? Look. How old is that door? Look at the look at the look at the wear on that door, folks. Look, and the woodworm on it. The old rivets, the old the old nails there. Look. Lovely. Isn't it? How old are they? Look. Phil, uh, Phil Bettina on that. I love that word. Phil. Phil. It's oh, amazing. Here, look. They must have been midgets. Look how low the lock is. Yeah, look, compared was, to you, look. That was for you. Eh? Hey? That's for you. <laughs> Don't you think that's a bit small for the size of the door? Well, that may not be original, Lee. No, it's probably not. Look, well, bit, look. look at this, look. This is just a run of the mill church. But look at the size of it. Yeah, very grand, isn't it? Fragments of the 15th century wow, woodwork. Look at that. Look at that. That is the original woodwork from all that time ago. Years. Years. Yeah, look. That would have all been hand carved, all that. Look. Over 600 years old. And coming around here, folks, look at this. Look. Under here, these are actually gravestones. Here lies the body of Elizabeth, wife of. Who's that? I can't see. You have to get a brass rubbing. We yeah. used to do brass rubbings. Yeah, that's amazing. Age 36 years. This yeah, one's, this yeah, one's... Yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Look at this one, look. Here lies the remains you of William... 14, you was lucky. William Wright. Late apothecary and surgeon of this place. They call it this place, look. Who for his generous, generous and hospitable temper, his constant sobriety, uncommon knowledge, not only in this professionalism, but also in everything useful, acquired only by the strength of his natural parts. Wow, look at that. And he would have been aged 44 years old. Just coming around here. Can you imagine? This would have been full of people. There would have been a sermon being read. This is the Lee Van Camp sermon for today. What is it then? I don't know. <laughs> so 
So there might have been many, many pews along here in this big echo chamber of a church. Or well, It's not a cathedral, is it? Now then, remember, be good to everybody. That is the sermon for today. I've been a little choir boy. Peace on earth. That's, that's your Father Christmas speech. To all good That's men. what you've done when you was Father Christmas. When he gets about that old Santa, doesn't he? I don't know what's through here, Lee, look. Yeah, there's another, there's another thing through the back there, look. Well, I never knew that existed, look. Let's have a look through here. This is the main ch ain't chambers, and we're going through here now, folks, look. Wow, look at this. Wow, that's amazing, look. And you've got these two little doors here. There's one here, Lee, look. Yeah, that's that so up to the organ. Yeah, that one does. I don't know about that door that side, look. There's, uh, no, there's another one there, Lee. Yeah. Well, that's the toilet. Oh, is it? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's very cold in here. Yeah. And there's sort of a... Churches do get cold. It's a, it's a very silent place. Again, look at that, folks. Absolutely amazing. And they command such respect we make our way through into the main chamber. Here are, we've just come to the back of the church and looking up there, they've hung all the cords for the bells, which go straight up, them cords go straight up into the roof there. And uh, that's where they would have rung the bells from. Oh, look, just seen the back of that door. That's where we come in, look. Yeah, but it's a door within a door, look. That's the old original locks and all that, folks. Look at that, look. Yeah, that's not that's, that's not original, as no, we said. No, no. But all this is, this would have been handmade. Look, all that. These little brackets there, look. Them old original hinges there, look, with them coach bolt type things. That's amazing. Look at that. Looking at that. That's where you're sitting there. Yeah. How many people? That's all polished. Yes, yeah, that's, that's all how been many, done how many by people, people sitting with their hands. How many people have sat there over the years? If you look in the corner, is it still... Where? Right that's how it would have been. Yeah. That's how it would have been. Look, that square. But, this is where it but look, just going along, folks. Look at that. Look. That's years and years. Yeah, that? Well, centuries. Six hundred years. Six hundred years of where? And look, that's not been moved. That's that's still there. Still the joints, centuries. good joints. Not like your knee joints. No. So here's those little cottages, people, which are not national trust apparently. But look, you've got gravestones just outside your front door. Look at that. Sorry about that plane, folks. That's one of the um, Eurofighters. Right, we're just crossing the little bridge, folks. This is the moat, obviously. Look, that would have been full with water all them years ago. So we've just come over the little bridge, walking towards the uh, the main castle, but I think we've got to show our tickets. Whereabouts, Lee? In this, in this little house there. I think we just caught it in time, Lee. Yeah. In there. There we go. So that was uh, Lord Curzon who rescued and roofed the castle ruins, preserving its medieval masterpiece for the nation. How about that? So we've just come out here, folks. Just just showing our little cards, and it looks like we've got in for free. And this is what we're looking at now. How grand is that? How much brickwork there is it? Wow. It's still, it's still there, look. What? All the brickwork. This moat. Around the moat. This moat, yeah, look at that, folks. You don't usually see that. I've never seen this at all in my life. Look at that, look, amazing. Yeah, look at that little step through down, down there, folks, look, to get down to the actual moat itself, look. Wow, amazing. All right, in we go. I don't know what that would have been, folks, look, a little, little area there. Red brick built. This look at that, and as you can see there, property of the National Trust. So you can actually sit down and watch a bit of history about it there, folks. But coming around here, that medieval fireplace, look at that. 
Well, you just imagine what's been people who are sitting down in front of this and maybe a big table that would have possibly been in the middle here. Let's have a look through that little doorway over there. Let's come through here, look at this, look. Wow. Let's have a little look, what we're in here. A little side room. Look at the thickness of them walls, folks, look. Can you imagine people sitting on them, maybe looking out the windows and all them years ago? There's a, a, a myriad of history on that wall there, which you can read if you do come here. It tells you about from when it was built all the way along, what was going on around. So just coming around here, it's a bit lighter through here. You come around here, folks, through this little door. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this, folks. Wow. There's no staircase here. Look at the thickness of them walls there. And that little slit window at the end there. Look at that. There's nothing else here, Lee. I wonder what this was. What is it? Toilet. Would that have been a toilet? Yeah, of course. That might have been a toilet. That would have been a toilet. That would have been a toilet. Which has been bricked up, yeah, it could have been, yeah. yeah. Of course it was. Well, we're coming round. There's no blink door. As you can see, where that slab is behind you, yeah. that would have been where you sat on. Unbelievable. And the reason why they put that on there is so little children don't fall down here. Of course it is. Where's the bloody slab? Oh, that would have been a toilet, folks. No doors anywhere, is there? I was in the other bit. We've just come out downstairs. We, going downstairs is the same as going upstairs, isn't it? This is coming downstairs, folks. This is, this is below the castle. Look at this. Again, all original brickwork. They knew how to build stuff back then. This is underneath where we were just upstairs, folks. Can you imagine over the years what's gone on down here? And again, I want to walk down here and show you the thickness of them walls. Oh, hello. What's this? I'm glad I got the camera on, folks. Just to show you this sort of stuff. Wow, that's amazing. There's a little arch archway up there. They might have put a candle in there as a way of lighting this room back then, you see. Coming back out of here. Let's have a look down here. I don't quite know where that goes. And then they're coming along here. Look at the thickness of these walls, look, to the outside wall. Makes you wonder what they would have uh, used that little place for, wouldn't it? Coming through here. Here we go. This is another little chamber. I'm going to turn around, folks. Come back out of here. Yeah, it's just knowing that all these little dips, look, it's sort of, there's no drainage down here. There's no central drain where things could run away from. So did this used to flood back then? I don't know. Let's have a look around here. So amazing. Yeah, look, another little room down here. Look at that. And there's a look outside into the main corridor there. And I wonder if these were old original beams what people used to sit on down here. Wow, let's come out. Take a walk back up the stairs and then we'll have a look upstairs. So the basement is a low vaulted cellar with a well in the center of the room now blocked up and capped with square tiles and contains four lockable side rooms. The room in the east wall contains two ombres wall cupboards for extra storage due to its location close to the original stone. The great hall outside, it is most likely that this was the buttery cellar for storing owl and wine. Here the walls are at the thickest of the castle, in the castle at 4.25 meters. This room is said to have been a prison during the civil war. The southwest turret contains the remains of the original roof beams that held up the floors of the keep. That's for those beams we saw. So there, under here, that hole there which has been filled up there, that's where the well was that went straight down. 
Right, let's make our way outside now, and finally, and have a look upstairs. Look at them steps, they're all created by hand. And look when they've been repaired it's over the years. 600 years. Yeah, look where they've been repaired, Lee, where they've worn away, where people have walked up. That's it. And as you can see, where Lee's standing, <laughs> that is the natural foot space that you take when you're walking up. This is and that's the bit that's worn away. First of all. Again, this is the Great Hall. The Great Hall would have been Lord Cromwell's private dining room for an immediate family. Honoured guests and the higher status servants. There you go, perhaps I'll let you read that. Coming around here. Welcome my knights to Lee, King Lee and the round table. Someone's nicked the table. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just a sort of wear that people would have worn back then. Let's have a look. Wow. And yet again, folks, another one of those fantastic fireplaces. Bearing in mind, this would have been a dining room way back then. Have you noticed downstairs? Right. The fireplace was on the other side. Right. Because of the chimneys coming up. The chimney will be going up through there, yeah, wouldn't it, on that one? That one. So you'll have on a, a, a flue there and, and a flue there, behind that brick yeah, wall. Yeah. Yeah. Usually what they used to do, they'd put their gold underneath. Oh yeah. In the fireplace. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? What's up there? Nothing. It's blocked off. I can see a little bit of light. Something else has actually been there, look, because there's an arch just above it, look. Yeah. Which has been bricked up there, look. Oh. Unbelievable. So on this little cutaway here, folks, that's how that room possibly would have been dressed. And look, we was just there, remember, when we was talking about that fireplace there and the flue that goes up there. So that's the sort of... Uh, look they would have had back then and perhaps the walls may have been panelled there as you can see look which obviously isn't there anymore so we've just walked through into this room here which is the room we're in now and there's another walkway going through there so that's where we come in we're in that room as i said to you and there's a walkway going down there which i don't quite know what's in here Lee, but it does go down this would have been the uh, broom cupboard no oh, i don't know there's certain things that are bricked up in here as well. There's a, oh, you can't see. We'll have to move out of here, folks, because you can't see. They like it. Hey, no, it's not that. Oh, that little window. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's fascinating. I've never been in here, Lee. So we're going to try and make our way up. So let's get upstairs and follow, follow Lee Van Camp upstairs, folks. So we're up to another level now, folks. Yeah. Just walking along this corridor now. But again, look at the intricate brickwork on the ceiling there, look. Inside this little castle land, look. What we got around here? Oh, there's some railings. Might be a jail. Don't know what's in here, folks. Don't know. Some little room. And then yet again, coming into this area, the audience chamber. The second floor was designed specifically for ceremony and grandeur and differs entirely from the rest of the keep. It contains the only corridor in the keep and in order to make a visitor take the longest path to greet Lord Cromwell. Who's this we have over here? Are you waiting to see my Lord? <laughs> Made me bleak jump that did. Lovely grand fireplace again, look at that, look. Superb. That's what you call the table. Again, probably all hand carved. I want to get me goblet and go. Right, let's have a look. There's a little door behind you, but it's locked up. I don't think we can go in there. Oh, look, look at the walls. That's a dungeon chamber. No, dovecote. They've even got an internal dovecote there, folks. Look where they would uh, keep their doves. Look at that, look. That's amazing, isn't it? Just spin around for you to have a look in the... Uh... Oh, hello. Where's Van Camp? 
Van Camp, are you in here? Oh my god, I can see a ghost. There's a pair of legs there with no body. So that, Lee, is a tapestry box, which they would um, put the tapestry in. I think so. It's a, a way of uh, protecting them when they're not. Right, yet another set of stairs to go up. I'll go in front this time, folks. We'll get up a bit quicker. Oh, we'll get up a bit quicker if I go in front. Oh, this is, is Would this be the top one? I'm not sure. I'll get up first, folks. There we go. No, there's another set as well, look. Going up there. Can you see that, look? There's an archway there, so there was a doorway on that next step. Also, I'll give you a piggyback next time. All right, another hall, folks. Look at this. Look, if there's anyone out there, can you pay for a day operation? For you, please? <laughs> Again, sort of a mirror image, but less grand than the room below. Look, very similar layout. It's got different smells. Yeah, there's a different ambience up here, yeah, isn't it? Look at that. Look, yeah, oh, that's a Tudor gown. Would you reckon? Hey, let's go that night on the town down the old Tudor pub. Down the Tudor arms. Down the Tudor arms. Yeah, look at that, folks. There's a couple of there you go. Shepherds. Again, another little corridor. Let's come round into here. No lights on in this one, folks. So uh, I'm not sure what these are going to throw up. Pretty light room for a small area. Just window light. In comes uh, Lee Van Camp. Lovely. All right, what we got here? It could be a little dressing room or something. Here we go. Oh, look at this, look. Yeah, a little dressing room or something, folks. This is a private chamber, Lee, look. And there's the castle back in the 1800s. Look, they've actually found an original picture of it now in which it would have had them little spires on there, look, which are now obviously not there anymore. But the tower itself is pretty much the same. More than I can say for her. Hello, my name's Lee Van Camp. <laughs> I'm, from, I'm from the 15th century. Oh, you look at, yes. Do you like my outfit? Yes. <laughs> so again, back in the 1870s, folks, it still had the turrets on. And can you see the sort of people who would have been around this area then? Look, how different they drew, dressed. Pretty much like Lee Van Camp just dressed. Look at that, look. And there's Lord Curzon there. He's the chap who had it restored and renovated. And there they were doing some of the renovation work. That's the roof gallery, again, being restored. Absolutely amazing. Right, we're just walking in this I'll, one. I'll, I don't want to go in there. He's just said he felt a little bit strange coming in here. I don't know. What one, Lee? I don't, not that one. This one. Oh, my God. See what I mean? Ali? What's that all about? I don't like you. The strange forces at work. What about you? Don't like you. Right, so, last floor. I would imagine this has got to be the last floor now. So let's get up here quickly. Let's get up here quickly, Lee. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Up you go. Up you go. There's still more. There's still more, look. I didn't realise it was at all, but hello, I can see daylight here. Yeah? Oh, this is the roof, folks, look. Yeah, this is the roof. Little, little, cover, little nooks and crannies, look. Little doorway there, look. Here we go. 
The roof and battlements are the most altered part of the castle. What? Rebuilt by William Weir between 1912 and 1914. Hey, look, if you look straight down, folks. Although they've got the wooden things here now, that leads straight down to above the entrance. In the event of an attack, they would have thrown buckets of hot tar and bricks and stones and rocks all down there, so people found it hard to get in. And coming out here, this has obviously all been restored, because this never had a roof on it, you see, when it was uh, left open. But you get to see the turrets there, which we'll no doubt go up and have a look at in a minute. But just walking around the perimeter, you get to see, let's have a look out this window here, look. I think they actually go all the way around these things. Look at that, look. You don't want to be standing on them, folks. And if I look out here, look. Straight out to the moat, look. So anyone trying to attack at different angles would have had stuff dropped on them. And that's how high up we are. Pull back. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, so they go all the way around. It's not just the front. It's all the way around them little windows are. Oh, he's up there. I'm coming up now. Wait there. Right, okay. Last flight of stairs, folks. Up Tatshaw Castle. I don't think this one will be too high. Um, one way only. I think you go that way and then come out the other way, don't you? So we do that. I don't know if that's where Lee Van Camp went. Hello. You're on the other side. Did you walk right round? No. There's other stairs. This is the way you should have come. Because oh. it says there's no exit, look. Oh. Alright, folks.
Well, there you go, folks. Very, very interesting place. We haven't been in every single room, but um, if you do come here and you're in the National Trust, you'll get in for free. And uh, we thoroughly enjoyed it. So uh, do check it out. And uh, you do get a real sense of history here as well. So it's one place to visit if you're in Tattershall or anywhere near here. So there you go, folks. That was a fantastic visit we had there with Mr. Lee Van Camp. You've been there many years ago, haven't you? Jimmy was about three. So three years <laughs> old. So it's probably yeah. totally different now because uh, she didn't remember half the things that... Uh, she had a little look on the video there anyway. Anyway, we went down to Ragged Apron uh, yesterday morning and we uh, we got given some free drinks, didn't we, Sharon? Yeah, thank you very much. That That's come from surprise. Liz and Sean, two of our subscribers, who actually went down to Ragged Apron. Sorry we missed you. And yeah, uh, uh, Dale behind the counter there, the owner, he said, uh, oh, you've got some free drinks in, so that was very nice of him. So yeah, we'd like to thank you very much, uh, Liz and uh, Sean. If you do enjoy our videos, do have a look at our other playlists and uh, have a little binge watch. Cause... And tell us to your friends, Let's try, we want to get a bit, little bit bigger, so if you just yeah. spread the news about Our us. subscribers yeah. are sort of dried up for some reason. Yeah. Anyway, thanks very much folks, we'll see you in the next video, and until then, bye for now. Bye.